beautiful sound. Hey, he's really good, isn't he? Down through here. Yeah. Hello, Swadi Cap. Sabadi Mai. Sabadi Londi. Ah, very nice. Nit Noi. Nit Noi. Get out this way. Hey, setting up for tonight though, innit? I would have thought. So, we might just have to come down here again tonight. That could be a better plan. See what it's like in the night time with a bridge. I bet it's amazing. Look how quiet it is though, guys. Look how quiet it is. It's a beautiful little town. Lovely little town. Right, so I think what I'm going to do is go back into the town bit where the room is and I see some restaurants there, I'm going to go in there and um, get something to eat but it was cool to look around this part, right? I might come back down tonight and have a look around this area all lit up in under darkness so let's go and check out a bit more in town Right then, the next stop of the day is another heart puller this is the Kanchanaburi War Cemetery, 1939 to 1945. This guy knows the score. Right, so this is the War Cemetery. 1939 to 1945, the land on which this cemetery stands is the gift of the Thai people for the perpetual resting place of the sailors, soldiers and airmen who are honoured here. During the Second World War, 1939 to 1945, tens of thousands of Commonwealth Dutch and American service personnel became prisoners of war of the Japanese. In 1942, the Japanese ordered the building of a 250 mile railway through the mountains and jungles of Thailand and Burma. Work camps of POWs and labourers were made along the proposed route including one here called Kan Buri Camp. At the height of the construction more than 60,000 POWs worked alongside 200,000 forced local labourers all suffered from malnutrition disease and mistreatment. The line was completed in October 1943, by which time more than 12,000 POWs and many as half of the local labourers had perished. That's 100,000 people. After 1945, the remains of Commonwealth and Dutch servicemen were brought here from nearby cemeteries and isolated sites along the southern half of the railway from Bangkok to Nik. Today there are more than 5,000 Commonwealth and almost 1,900 Dutch servicemen buried or commemorated here. Again, what can you say? It's just an honour to be here again, really. Kanchanaburi is yeah, it, it's a beautiful place, but at the same time, it's a really sad place, isn't it? And you've got this on the doorstep every day. And um, yeah, I can see why tourists come here, even though, should it be a tourist attraction, but people coming to pay their respects, there's nothing wrong with that, right? These, these people deserve that, don't they? C.E. Wakelin, Royal Signals. Your life a beautiful memory, your death a silent grief, safe in God's keeping. LG Green, Royal Signals, 27th of May, 
1945 age 34 HV Rutherford the Cambridge Regiment 25 years old FM Reynolds 32 years old 32 years old Wicker I forgot your name buddy I'm so sorry JCL Fing, 32 years old. AW Wicker, 39 years old. RW Man, 31 years old. Peace, perfect peace. P Watson, Abel Seaman, RNCJ41288, HMS Sultan. 4th of June 1945, 46 years old. I'd read them all if I could. Yeah, something I had to see. I have to see this, I have to pay respects. So, yeah, it's crazy what happened here, right? It's, it's nuts, man. Yeah? So, over there's the museum, it's too late in the day now. So, we're gonna have to go there tomorrow along with the other one in town I want to see both of them Death Railway Museum and Research Centre so they're making like they're making a business out of it but you now what can you do hopefully it's going towards Towards the city, even towards the town, towards the town, their name liveth forevermore. It's got a special, it's got a special feeling about it, Kanchanaburi. This, this is um, over the whole town. You can feel it wherever you go. It's like I don't know. It sort of feels like you're protected here, even though that sounds strange after so many people died here. It just feels like Kanchanaburi is like at peace now, or just feels like the whole town is dedicated to just peace and remembering. That's the feeling I get here now. Just sort of like sabai sabai just you know it feels like if you've done something crazy here you would be you know you'd get dealt with more than some other places that's what it feels like to me nobody steps out of line here that's what i sort of feel by going around the place and looking just watching some of the young people earlier it just oh yeah it seems like that to me Just want to read out a few more. Jay Haneman, soldier, 15th of the 3rd, 1897 to 1943. M. van der Velden, so Dutch, uh, Brigade MLD, 1916, 1943. A. E. M. Mullerman, uh, Lieutenant, is that? 1904, 1943. Jay Pratched, Pratched, um, 1943. Jay Strick, 1906, 1943. G. F. De Jude, Soldier, Infantry, 1924, 1943. And if you notice on the dates, look, they're all within February, March, April, May, sort of time, 1943. J.A. Mull, Sergeant, 1918, 1943. E. Muller, Soldier, 1900, 1943. 9th of May. 
and look it's really been up well kept as well in it it's they've kept it really nice look every every grave site here has got a got flowers so we've got some people down there actually sitting down next to one maybe they're relatives or something There's the St. George's Cross. The poppies. In honoured remembrance of the fortitude and sacrifice of that valiant company who perished while building the railway from Thailand to Burma during their long captivity, those who have no known grave are commemorated by name at Rangoon, Singapore and Hong Kong and their comrades rest in the free war cemeteries of Kanchanaburi. Can't read the next bit because it's behind the poppies. After entering the Second World War on December 19th, really good right up there I'm not gonna read it all guys um, I'm sure a lot of you know but if you come here you can read all about it and check it out for yourselves it's a very sad place I'm glad I've just come down here and I'm glad I've done a vlog here as well actually because it's promoting their names it's promoting you know it's it's showing the people that it, it still lives on and don't forget so i'm happy with that <laughs> 